Begin by finding a posture that's comfortable for you. Maybe it's seated in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Maybe it's another posture. In any case, allow your body to become comfortable. Position your body in a posture that feels comfortable. As you settle into this posture, notice if there's any muscular tension that's present for you at this time. If any of your muscles are held tightly, you can just do a brief scan of your body, perhaps from the top to the bottom, or the bottom to the top. And if you notice that there's tension anywhere in your body at this time, feel free to invite those muscles to relax, to ease in to ease and loosen up. Relax your body. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin, just a gentle, easy smile. This might not feel good for you, and if so, no problem. But if you'd like, you can use a smile to gently incline your body and your mind towards happiness. Allow your body to settle in here, to enjoy being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. See if you can stay here in this place in your body for the whole practice period. If you become uncomfortable, you can shift your posture. If your muscles tighten up, you can invite them to relax again. And if your smile fades, you can gently return the smile to your face. And without leaving this place, this comfortable, relaxed, smiling place in your body. Begin to ease your mind towards happiness and loving kindness. Specifically, reflect on things in your life that you can summon a sense of gratitude for. Whatever it may be for you. the friends in your life, the food that you had to eat today, having shelter, something special that's happening for you right now in your life. Consider these things and in your mind say, I feel grateful for this and I feel grateful for that, whatever it may be for you.
allow your mind to reflect on gratitude, to cultivate gratitude. As you reflect on these things in your mind, notice if there's any response in the body. If you can feel the gratitude in your body, perhaps around your face, around the smile, or in your heart center, a felt sense of warmth and gratitude in your body. These feelings may or may not arise for you. But if they do, notice them and really enjoy them, even if they're small. Very good. Now, bring to mind your easy to love person or animal. Someone in your life who's relatively easy for you to feel a sense of love for. Perhaps a pet or a small child or a dear friend or family member. Even yourself, if it's easy for you to feel love for yourself. Consider who that might be for you and see them in your mind's eye. In particular, imagine them being happy. Perhaps laughing or smiling or recalling a memory that you shared with them that was particularly happy. Visualize what it's like for them to be happy. As you do so, wish that for them. Wish that they would be happy. If it's helpful, you can supplement the images with phrases like, may you be happy, or I love you, or I care about you, or something particular to you and your relationship with this person. In any case, cultivate a general attitude of well-wishing for your easy-to-love person or animal. Again, if, as you do this, there are any positive feelings of love or well-wishing that arise in your body, as you cultivate this love for the easy-to-love person or animal, notice those feelings and enjoy them.
Continue to cultivate love and well-wishing for your easy-to-love person or animal for another moment. In a moment, we'll transition to our main technique. But if these feelings of love have arisen for you in your body, allow them to stay there, even as we transition. No need to set them aside. You can continue to feel them, enjoy them, and even grow them. Set aside the image of your easy to love person or animal and visualize the planet Earth, the planet that we live on. See it in your mind's eye and zoom in to wherever you are on the planet. And allow yourself to see a map of the area near you. Perhaps it could be your town or city. Or if you like, it could be your country. But have a map of some size. Yourself at the center. There are many people in our lives that also deserve the same love that we cultivated for our easy to love person or animal. See if you can find one such person on the map in your mind's eye. In whatever way feels good for you, See if you can direct that same love towards this person on your map. Perhaps they're in the town or state that you're in or your country. You could, for example, visualize a line of love going from where you are to where they are. But really any method of cultivating love for this person will do. See if you can extend that same attitude of love and care to this other person on your map. Again, if it's helpful, you can Use phrases like, may you be happy, or I love you, or I care about you. The main thing is to cultivate this attitude of love and well-wishing.
You can stay with the same person for as long as you like, or you can move to a different person on your map. You get to decide the rhythm. For myself, I like to move through many different people very quickly, but you may enjoy staying with the same person for a long time or some other rhythm that feels good for you. But in your mind's eye, if you choose to move, you can move from say left to right or up and down, north to south, east to west, moving through different people, wishing them well. Basically using the map as a mnemonic aid to remember who to send love to. Who are the people in your life that you wish to extend this love to? Feel free to adjust the map in your mind in any way that you like, moving wherever you like, zooming in or out as you like, using it as an aid to remember who to send love to. In any case, however you're practicing, cultivate this attitude of well-wishing and feelings of love and care.
if you're finding this map visualization helpful, continue to use your map to cultivate loving kindness, directing love towards different people in your life. If not, feel free to make a change to use any method that you know for cultivating loving kindness. You get to decide. Continue to cultivate loving kindness for another few moments.
Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you face any challenges? Did you learn anything new? Take a moment to consider and reflect. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 